This is the grade eight tutorial for the geometric shape project. There are two options for this project. There is the circle uh, square triangle project, and there is also the project that includes the sphere. This is the easier of the two projects. Please choose the one that best suits your ability level. As we can take a look at this, isometric and orthographic drawing. The first thing that we're gonna create is an equilateral triangle that's one and a half inches and extruded three inches. So I'm gonna go over to Onshape. I'm gonna create a sketch. I'm gonna place a sketch on the front plane and click on the orientation to view the front. I'm gonna come over here to my polygon tool. I'm going to click and drag out. I'm going to click to lay that polygon down and scroll down till I get to the triangle. I'm going to left click again, setting my sides to three for that polygon. Then I'm going to come up to my dimension tool. I'm going to click on the base of the triangle, pulling outwards and clicking again to dimension and changing this to 1.5 inches. Next, I'll come to my extrude button. I will set my extrusion to three inches. Green check mark to finish. And I can see that equilateral triangle. Next, I'm gonna lay a sketch down on that front plane again. And if we look at our document, the next thing that we're going to create is a two inch by two inch cube with that same one and a half inch equilateral triangle centered, but this time it's a hole. Going back to on shape, I'm going to use my rectangle tool to create my square, which is two inches by two inches. I'm going to extrude that. The extrusion needs to be two inches. Green check mark, and I can zoom out to see my perspective. I'm going to lay a sketch on that front uh, plane of the cube, reorientate myself, grab my polygon tool, click roughly towards the center of my square, dragging out, I'm gonna click again and change it to three sides. Next, I'm gonna grab my dimension tool. I'm gonna dimension the base to be 1.5 inches. Staying on that dimension tool, I need to position this now. So I need to position it one inch from the top line and one inch from the right line. So what that shows me then is that I'm one inch away from the top and if we just verify to here, we can see that we are one inch away from the bottom as well. I'm going to click on the extrude button, gain perspective, and this time we're gonna click on remove. And I wanna set my remove to two inches in depth to cut out that material. So we can now see we have parts one and two The other thing that we should do before we proceed is rename our parts, triangle, 